Hello everyone. Let's have a look at an example of frustum of a cone. So here is an example which says that we are given a glass which is in the shape of frustum of a cone. So let's take this glass and we are given that its height is 14 centimeters. Then we are given that the diameter of the circular ends are 2 centimeters and 4 centimeters respectively. Then we have to calculate the capacity of this glass. We also have to find out the cost of making this glass if the cost of glass is rupees 10 per 100 centimeters square. Now, since we know that this is the frustum of a cone and we have to calculate the capacity of this glass, so we know that what is the volume of frustum of a cone. It is 1 by 3 pi h into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. So we can easily find out the capacity of this glass. This is the volume of frustum of a cone. We all have to put the values. First is 1 by 3 into pi. Pi is 22 by 7 since it is not given. The height of this frustum of cone is 14. So this will be 14 and into r1 square. Now the diameter of the top is 4. So r1 will be 2 centimeters. So this will be 2 square. Similarly r1 will be 1. Sorry r2 will be 1. 1 square plus 2 into 1. Now let's solve this. 7 into 2 will be 40. So this will be 1 by 3 into 22 into 2 and this will come out to be 2 square will be 4 plus 1 plus 2. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Now if we multiply this further, we will get 308 by 3 and this will come out to be 102.66 centimeter cube. So this will be the volume of this glass. Now we have to calculate the cost of making this glass and we know very well. We can find out the cost by calculating the surface area of this glass. So for the surface area we need slant height. So first we will calculate the slant height here. So slant height of the glass is L is equals to under root H square plus R1 minus R2 whole square. So again we have to put the values here. So this is under root. The value of H is 14. So this will be 14 square plus R1 is 2 and minus 1 whole square. Now if we solve this we will get 14 square is 196 plus this will be 1. So this is, so if we solve it further, this will come out to be under root 197 which comes out to be 14.03 centimeters. Or we can say that this approximate value will come out to be 14 centimeters only. Now we can easily find out the surface area of this glass. Surface area of this glass will be the curved surface area of the glass and also the area of the base. So we can write down the surface area of the glass to be pi L R1 plus R2 this is the curved surface area of the glass and plus we have to add the area of base into it which is pi into r2 square. Now just put the values. So this is 22 by 7 into the value of L is approximated to be 14 and r1 plus r2. R2, R1 is 2 and R1 is 2 and R2 is 1 and this is 
22 by 7 into 1 square. Now if we solve it further, 22 by 7 we can take common. So this is 22 by 7 and this is 14 into 3 will be 42 and plus 1. So if we solve this, it comes out to be 135.14 centimeter square. So this is the surface area of the glass. Now we will just multiply by the cost to get the net cost of the glass. So the cost of making this glass will come out to be the surface area into this cost. So this will be 135.14 centimeter square into the cost of glass is 10 by 100 centimeter square. So if we calculate this, we'll be getting rupees. This will come out to be 13.5 since this will get cancelled. So this will come out to be rupees 13.5. So we can say that this glass will cost us 13.5 rupees only.